Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for 18,000 subscribers, and thank you to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. So, if you haven't, make sure to hit that subscribe button and yeah, enjoy the content that we put out. Feel free to suggest anything that you guys want us to react to. Just drop the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. Feel free to check out our Facebook, Funny and Jesse, Instagram, Funny and Jesse, and feel free to interact with us. Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to I have sinned a lot and lost my iman. What to do? Question and answer Muhammad Hoblos. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. A person is saying, I have sinned a lot and I have lost all iman I had. Do you have any advice on how I can become a better human being? Yes. Right now, man. Right now. Turn to Allah and say, oh Allah, forgive me. That simple. That simple. What separated Islam from any other religion? There's no middleman in Islam. You don't need to sit in a box or put some money in a box or sit in front of a human being and confess to this and no between you and Allah right now right now between you and Allah say oh Allah forgive me know that Allah will forgive you this is the beauty of Islam no matter who you are no matter where you are no matter what condition you're in no matter how much sin you've committed no, Allah Azza wa Jal forgives all sins. Hadith could see authentic hadith. Allah says what? Rather before that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in Quran. Allah says, O oh my slaves, those who have transgressed against themselves, don't you ever, ever give up hope in the mercy of your Rabb, in the mercy of your Lord. Don't ever give up hope. And I'm not here to, 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 wallahi, to sweeten the, you know, or to try and inspire you or to wow you with my speech. Wallahi, I'm not. I'm speaking direct, authentic material. Don't you ever, I don't care how much sin you've committed, don't you ever give up hope in the mercy of your Lord. And look at this concept of Islam. I challenge this with anything and everyone else. You know, everything else in this world, you know, your best friend, what, what, what's, what is it, uh, BBF? Yeah? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very, t is, is it? Is it BBF? What is it, BFF? I don't know what it is, bro, BBF, BBFF. <laughs> but I remember someone sent it to me. I thought, BFF? What the crack is this guy on, man? It's, yeah, it's best friends forever. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> best friends? Anyway, right? But I'm sure everyone in this room, everyone in this room has a best friend, has a koi, has, or oh, if you're one of the boys, bro, we're like that, bro. Kasim, bro, I'll take a bullet for him, bro. <laughs> bullet, one like firecrackers go off, people run out. You let alone bullets. <laughs> All right? Yeah? But everyone in this room has a best friend. Wallahi, no matter how close your friend is, if you push the right buttons, Wallahi, they will disown you. I've had BFFs go to war with each other. Because of what she said and how she said it and the way she looked at me and the way I looked at her. I've had blood brothers, let alone, you know, your mate, your koi at school. I've had blood brothers go to war and shoot each other. Wallahi, this dunya, nothing is forever. 
anyone and everyone in this world, if you push the right buttons, they will disown you. You know, you can work for a company. You can work for a company and give them the best years of your life. Work there for 30 years straight. You never took a day off. You never took a sick day. You, you, were, you were there 10 minutes before work and 10 minutes after work. And wallahi, even this company, they have a schedule, they have rules and regulations that if you break them, know that you're gone, you're done, you're finished. Your own mother, your own, does, does anyone in this world, is there any doubt in anyone's mind that there's someone other than your mother that loves you? And is there anyone that loves you more than your mother? Impossible. Wallahi, even your mother, if you push the right buttons, she'll disown you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king, he says, Oh my slaves, do whatever you please. Do it a million times. Disobey me. Do whatever you want for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years. You never prayed. You never fasted. Sin among sin. And then once, only once, you turn to me and you say, Ya Rabb. Allah says, Ya Abdi Naam, what do you want, man? What do you want? Allah forgives. Now you don't need to read a book. You don't need to sign up or an application. Now, right now, between you and Allah. And no one can take that away from you. Turn to Allah. Allah says, my slave, if you come to me with an earth load of sin, but you don't associate partners with me, I will come to you with forgiveness that matches it. Allah says, oh my slave, if you come to me a handspan, I come to you an arm's length. If you come to me walking, I come to you running. My slave, when you remember me, I remember you. My slave, when you forget me, I still remember you. So yeah, if you've sinned and you've lost hope, then I tell you right now, make tawbah to Allah. Just right now, between you and your heart, ask Allah for sincere forgiveness. And wallahi, you will taste immediate iman. And then obviously work on this and try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, and I'm sure you know the pattern. love this entire message if you remember god god will remember you if you forget god god still um remembers you this is to say that no matter what you've done in this world no matter what caused you to forget your iman forget god in as a whole and just push him aside it doesn't matter what god will still forgive you should you decide to talk to him communicate with him even if you lose sight today and realize that you've lost sight and acknowledge that you've lost sight of that or done wrong in this world no matter the situation as long as you turn to god god is going to welcome you god is going to forgive you god is going to bless you and things are going whatever you did those things are going to be of the past it's like they even erased it's really up to you and what you want in life never shy away from god no matter the situation stay strong even if you lose sight stay on track no matter the case yes we're tempted day in day out as long as you still tend to god despite the situation god is there to hear you out god is there to forgive you god is there to welcome you god is there to come the situation and god will forever be there no matter what i feel like i'm saying no matter what a lot of times let me know what you guys actually think about this message by muhammad hoblos uh, a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next reaction video.
you.